Henry Ford and the Automobile Revolution From the first dusty roads to modern highways, automobiles have revolutionized the world. And behind one of the biggest revolutions in the automotive industry is a man, Henry Ford. In this video, we will explore how their innovations forever changed the way we live and move. But first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Henry Ford was born on July 30, 1863 on a farm in Dearborn, Michigan. From a young age, he showed a great interest in mechanics and engineering. By age 15, he had already taken apart and put back together his father's pocket watch, fascinating his neighbors with his watch repair skills. In the late 1880s, at age 17, Ford left the farm to work as an apprentice machinist in Detroit. This experience was crucial as it allowed him to learn about how machines worked and develop his skills as an engineer. Did you know that Henry worked with Thomas Edison? That's right, in 1891, Ford was hired as an engineer by the Edison Illuminating Company of Detroit. During his time there, Ford displayed great technical skill and a remarkable ability to solve problems, allowing him to rise quickly within the company. In 1893, he was promoted to chief engineer, a position that allowed him more time and resources to work on his own projects, including his interest in internal combustion engines and automobiles. Ford and Edison met in person for the first time in 1896 during a meeting of executives of the Edison Illuminating Company in New York. At that meeting, Ford presented his first self-propelled vehicle, the quadricycle, to Edison. The famous inventor was impressed by the ingenuity and potential of Ford's project. Edison encouraged Ford to continue working on his automobile, expressing his belief in the future of gasoline-powered vehicles. This support and trust from Edison was a great encouragement to Ford, who deeply admired Edison. The creation of Henry Ford's first model, the Model T. In 1908, Ford introduced the Model T, a car that would change history. His vision was clear. He wanted to build an affordable, reliable, and efficient car that would be within the reach of most Americans. The Model T, with its simple and robust design, fulfilled that vision. But Ford's true genius was not just in the design of the car, but in how it was produced. In 1913, it introduced the moving assembly line at its factory in Highland Park. This innovative production method made it possible to drastically reduce manufacturing costs and time. Instead of workers moving around the car, the car moved along a line, stopping at stations where workers performed specific tasks. An anecdote in the development of the Model T was that, during the development process of the Ford Model T, Henry Ford faced several technical and logistical challenges. One of the most notable stories from this era involves the search for a suitable material for the automobile chassis. Ford wanted the Model T to be durable and lightweight, and to achieve this, it needed high-quality steel. At that time, steel was extremely expensive and difficult to obtain in the necessary quantities. However, Ford had heard of a new process developed by French engineer Paul Harold that allowed stronger and lighter steel to be produced by adding vanadium. Determined to use this new material, Ford sent its team of engineers to Europe to learn more about the production process of vanadium steel. After several weeks of investigation, the engineers returned to Detroit with the necessary information. Ford then decided to implement this steel in the construction of the Model T, which resulted in a much stronger and lighter chassis than other cars of the time. Choosing vanadium steel not only improved the durability of the Model T, but also allowed Ford to reduce the vehicle's weight, which increased its fuel efficiency. This innovative approach to the use of materials was one of the reasons why the Model T became such a smash hit and revolutionized the automotive industry. This anecdote highlights not only Ford's determination to create an affordable and durable automobile, but also its willingness to adopt new technologies and materials to achieve its goals. Impact on the Automotive Industry and Society The impact of the Model T and the assembly line was profound. By 1927, more than 15 million units of the Model T had been produced, making it the best-selling car of the time. The price of the Model T dropped from $850 in 1908 to less than $300 in 1925, making it affordable for millions of people. The automobile not only transformed industry, but also society. Cities grew, roads expanded, and people began to explore new ways of living and working. Ford didn't just build cars, it helped build the 20th century. The Legacy of Henry Ford Henry Ford continued to innovate until his death in 1947, but his legacy lives on in every automobile on the road today. 
His focus on efficiency and mass production laid the foundation for modern industry and changed the course of history. From the early days of the Model T to the self-driving cars of the future, Henry Ford's influence is undeniable. Thanks to his vision and determination, the automobile went from a luxury reserved for a few to an essential part of everyday life for many. Million. So the next time you get in your car, remember that it all started with a man on a Michigan farm who dreamed of a world in motion. Don't forget to subscribe and support us with your like.